Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do web application using the ABP framework. For this video, we'll be using Blazor Server as the UI framework and Entity Framework Core as the database provider. So I'll be going through this documentation and the first thing we're gonna do is look at how it's gonna look. So this is how it's gonna look. We have a very simple to-do list application and we can type in our to-do list items. So we can say buy some milk, for example. We could say drink some water, stay hydrated. And we could also say, for example, water the plants. So we can get the list and we can type in into the list and we can also delete from the list. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and go into a terminal and I'm gonna install the ABP CLI and as you can see I already have it installed. Then I'm gonna copy this command to create a new solution but first I will go to the directory of my projects and I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna name it after our solution. So to do app, I'll go to it and right here I'm gonna paste the command. So ABP new to do app and the UI is gonna be Blazor server. So once this page opens, it means that our solution has been created. Let's get to it. And let's open the solution. So this is our domain driven design solution and let's run the DB migrator to create the database and see the initial data. After that, we can run the Blazor project so we can see the initial solution. As you can see, we have our web app right here. Let's log in. And we have our administration section right here. We have tenant management if you want to create a new tenant, where it's gonna have the same thing right here as identity management for both roles and users, or you can have this tenant as your own. And we also have our web app settings right here. Let's stop running the solution and get to work. So the first thing we're gonna work on is the domain layer. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. Let's create a new to do item class inside the to do app domain project. I'm going to copy this and I'll get to the domain project right here. And I'll create a new class. And I'll paste the code right here. It will inherit from basic aggregate root and GUID will be the primary key. Next up is the database integration. Let's set up entity framework core configuration. We're gonna open the to-do app DB context class inside the entity framework core folder of the to-do app entity framework core. So we're gonna find it right here, entity framework core inside the folder. And here is our DB context. And we're gonna add a new DB set property. So we can find it right here. We can add our properties right here. Next up, we're going to navigate to the all model creating method in the same class, and we're going to copy this piece of code right here. So this is the all model creating method, and we're going to paste it right here. And by that, we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. Now, since we're done with the DB set, we're going to have to add our first migration. So I'm going to get to the entity framework core path right here. And I'm going to open a command prompt right here. And I'm going to copy this to code our first migration. And I'm also going to update the database. And by that, we are finished applying our new migration. If we look right here, we're going to find it. Add it to do item, just like in the command. Next up is the application layer. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application. And we need to perform the following use cases. We have the get the list of the to-do items, create a new to-do item, and delete an existing to-do item. We've seen it in the first example. 
First of all, let's code the interface. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a new I to do app service interface in the to do app application contracts project. So I'm going to copy this and right here is the application contracts and I'm going to create a new interface. I to do app service. And I'm going to paste the code right here. So as you can see, these two methods, get list async and create async will be returning a to do item DTO. So let's create this class right here in the same project to do item DTO. And I'm going to copy its code from here. It's a very simple DTO class that matches our to do item entity. And as you can see, the error is gone right now. And now we're ready to implement the I to do app service. I'm going to create the to do app service class inside the to do app application project. Here's our application project to do app service. And I'm going to paste it right here. This class inherits from the application service, which is a class provided by the ABP framework. And it'll help us implement the use cases that we've described before. It'll also implement our interface. So let's implement the interface. I'm going to copy the first method, the get list async method. And I'm going to paste it right here. This is where we're implementing the methods. I'm going to copy the next method, the creating a new to do item. This was the getting the to do items. And here is the creating a new to do item. I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it right here. And the last one, the deleting a to do item. Copied and let's paste it. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the I repository, which is the default repository for the to do item entity. And then after injecting it, we've used its methods right here. We've used the get list async. It's coming directly from the repository. We've also used the insert async and the delete async. These are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now the application service is ready to be used from the UI. It's going to be very simple copying and pasting. I'm going to copy the index.razor.cs from here and I can find it easily in the Blazor project. And I'm going to paste the code right here. This class uses the I to do app service to perform operations for the to do items. It manipulates the to do items list after create and delete operations. And this way we don't need to refresh the whole to do list after creating or deleting a to do item. And next up is just going to be styling. So I'm going to copy the index.razor from here. And I'm just going to paste it right here. And the last one, the CSS one, I'm going to copy it from here and I'll paste it right here. And by that we can run our Blazor project. And as you can see right here, our web application is up and running. We can type in buy some water, stay hydrated, water the plants, whatever, whatever. We can also delete. And we can also get the list. And that is how to create a to do app web application using Blazor server and entity framework core. See you next time.